Hey guys, another video here. Haven't done one in a while, but we're looking at a new skill, so I figured a video would be very helpful. As you can see by the title of the video, we're going to cover addition of fractions, but in this one it's going to be adding tenths and hundredths together. And you can see I have an example here, 6 tenths plus 22 one hundredths equals x. Uh, as, as you've known before, we would add the numerators together if the denominator was the same, but you can see here I have tenths on one side and hundredths on the other, so I need to figure out how to make these denominators the same so that I can just add the numerator. So that's what we're going to get into in the video. So let's look at this number model again. And it was six tenths plus 22 one hundredths equals x. And really this skill is based on the idea that you can identify equivalent fractions because if you look at my number model, I have tenths on one side, hundredths on the other, but I need to have a number model with hundredths plus hundredths. Right? We want the numerators, uh, sorry, excuse me, we want the denominators to be the same. So 22 one hundredths we can keep as 22 one hundredths. What we have to change is we need to figure out how can we turn six tenths into a fraction that would have a denominator of 100. If you think way back to when we used our rule of 1, we learned that whatever you multiply by the bottom number, in this case 10 times 10 would give me 100. If I multiply the top by the same number, 6 times 10, I would get 6100. 6100. So now I can take 6 tenths, realize that it would be equal to 6100, and now I can add these two numerators together because I have one hundredths on one side, one hundredths on the other side. Sixty plus twenty-two would be eighty-two one hundredths for my final answer. Right? The key is this part of the process where you're changing six tenths into an equivalent fraction of one hundredths and realizing that it would be the same as sixty one hundredths. So let's look at another one. This time we'll start with four tenths plus 18 one hundredths equals the same variable, x. So again, we have different denominators. We have tenths and we have hundredths, but we need to have one hundredths plus one hundredths. So 18 one hundredths is already a one hundredths fraction. We need to take four tenths again, and we need to convert that into a fraction that be, would be equivalent of hundredths. Well, just like last time, same rule applies. 10 times 10 is 100. 4 times 10 is 40. So 4 tenths equals 40 one hundredths. Now, you may notice a pattern if you look at 4 tenths and you look at 40 one hundredths. You may realize that the numbers look very similar. And in fact, yes, 40 one hundredths, the numbers look 10 times bigger than 4 tenths, but the fractions would be equivalent, right? And that's, we learned that way back when we worked with equivalent fractions. It's all based on this idea that you multiply both numbers, numerator and denominator, by the same number, by 10, or as we said, one or oneida. So we know that 4 tenths is equal to 40 one hundredths, so we could now fill this in. 40 one hundredths. 40 one hundredths plus 18 one hundredths would be 58 one hundredths. Right? That's, that's fractional. We're going to look at one more. Right? In this one, you're going to notice something slightly different here. This time we'll start with 8 tenths plus 62 one hundredths. And we'll say it equals x one more time. Right? I'm going to skip the part of writing and explaining how to do this. I know that I need one hundredths plus one hundredths. Right, 62 one hundredths is already 62 one hundredths. I need to change 8 tenths into one hundredths. And I know that 8 tenths would be the same as 80 one hundredths. Right, 80 one hundredths plus 62 one hundredths. This time I get 142 one hundredths. Now, there's something going on here weird with my fraction. My numerator. 142 is actually bigger than my denominator of 100. 
what do I do here? That's right. You're going to end up with a mixed number this time. So we need to realize, and we looked at this in the past few lessons, if I need 100 pieces to make a hole, and I have 142 pieces in my numerator, I can make one hole. If I took 100 pieces away from 142, I would have 42 pieces left and my denominator of 100. So the, the final answer, 8 tenths plus 62 one hundredths is 1 and 42 one hundredths. Now I'll give you one to work out yourself. Now you can add 2 tenths plus 53 one hundredths. Okay. You can pause the video. I'll give you a few seconds to work it out. Come back to the video and see if you got the right answer. Okay, you should have had a chance to pause it. I'm going to figure out down here, change both of these into denominators of one hundredths. Well, we know 53 one hundredths is still 53 one hundredths. 53 one hundredths. Two tenths would be the same as 20 one hundredths. 20 plus 53 is 73 one hundredths. If you need to review the video, feel free to do so. Do you know where to access other videos for finding equivalent fractions if you need to review that, as well as reading fractions and writing fractions as tenths and hundredths. Check out the video, check out my YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.